It's the Midweek Roundup. Hey folks, welcome to the Midweek Roundup. We are joined this week by Kyle, come all the way over from America just to see me, and maybe because Clash of Kings is on as well. How's it going, everybody? Busy week this week. Oh, Looking incredible. Looking forward to, uh, to Clash of Kings at the end of the week, um, heading down Friday and uh, see lots of lovely faces and play some Kings of War. But first of all, we'll get through some of your painted minis. So first up, we have Hill Tetsuho, who has done some fantastic Forge Fathers. These are his work in progress as part of uh, Blackjack Legacy's Slow Grow Challenge. So you see uh, fantastic colours, um, nice sort of camouflage on there. And uh, it's got some brockers to work on in the background as well. I really like the green on Forge Fathers. It's it's a color that's been popping up a lot lately, yeah. I feel like, in the community. And I don't know, it works. It's, you know, typically you see it on GCPS, but yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to see the ones that you don't often see in camouflage right. being in right. camouflage, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. And talking of camouflage, complete opposite end of the spectrum. Ian's done these fantastic uh, tiger print Asterians. They're... Uh, Fantastic, aren't they? That takes a steady hand. I mean, because yeah. there, there's no template on there. I mean, he I don't know if he I'm assuming he did that freehand. And if he did, that's that's very impressive. It, it looks so, it, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah. It's, uh, well it's done. Really well done. Yeah. The, uh, I guess you call them cat starians. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jessica's done a Northern Alliance army ready for Clash of Kings, I believe, yeah. um, doing the display board. It's uh, always fantastic when we see some uh, some crazy ideas. This is uh, not the first time I've seen a frozen themed Northern Alliance yeah. army, but uh, this may be the best one I've seen. So it's fantastic, Ooh. isn't it? Yeah, it's really. Uh, really I'm excited nice, to well see painted. that this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it up close and in the absolutely uh, in the flesh, as it were. Yeah. And talking about uh, oh yeah, I've fun seen these. as well. This is uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, these ghouls and horrors playing. Snooker. <laughs> I, I was actually explained what snooker is for the first time oh, yeah. yesterday during lunch because I, <laughs> I was looking at a bar and I was like, what is this thing? And it's it's basically a bigger version of pool yeah. with different rules. It's and slightly more complicated yeah. pool. Pool yeah. extreme. Yeah. <laughs> I dig it. Good job, Matt. And then our very own Nick Savage has been chipping away at his slow grow. He's still beating me. I've still <laughs> yet to get any primer on my models. Um, so uh, he's done his peacekeeper captain. Do you remember in the video uh, recently? He said he was thinking of changing his his colours from the sort of the light grey and orange to something a bit different. So he's gone for more of a uh, a camo green, um, and then the orange just to to make that pop. The orange pops, and then obviously the blue on the claws. That's a that's a really nice just color point that stands out. Orange and blue, good contrast for yeah. each other. So. I think that's yeah. what's great about the uh, the enforcer captain with the face claws. The face claws, yeah. Whatever color you you want to do the armor, having right. some blue claws just just make it pop, don't they? Yeah. And then I picked these guys out because obviously I'm trying to dip my night stalkers done for Halloween, and uh, I thought that these looked fantastic. So similar sort of tones as to what I'm thinking of doing. Yeah. Um, and then what Simon did was he had some men at arms left over and needed to create a few more units. So I flip to the next slide. He made some fantastic doppelgangers. This is a really nice conversion using some uh, the old men at arms sprues and the scarecrow spectre screw, uh, sprues from the Night Stalker set. I also like the tree from Terrain Crate from the Haunted Manor. That's a, yeah. that's a great use of that. That's the beauty of multi-basing, isn't mm -hmm. it? That you can uh, really make some nice thematic uh, dioramas within your units, yeah. yeah. And both of those, I mean, the, if, if you're doing any kind of a spooky army, undead, night stalkers, that haunted manor sets, yeah, fantastic perfect, for it. Isn't it, yeah. And then, lastly, talking off terrain, we've got some uh, sci-fi terrain. I picked this out uh, from Soren Taylor because yeah. I thought the uh, the landing pad that they'd done is absolutely fantastic. Um, really nice uh, with a big the big H on there, um, and the uh, weathering is really nice as well on the uh, on the whole of it. Sure. I mean, terrain sets are, they're critical to everything that we do. And I'm someone that tends to neglect them because I get so excited about models. Yeah. But then once you get a nice terrain set like this finished, it feels so good. It's That's like, it, yeah. there's, okay, there's, I'm ready to play for real. There's, there's something so much better as well about playing on a really immersive board, yeah. isn't there, than 
It's a great change of pace from how you normally, you know, are just painting minis. I yeah. mean, it, you do things differently, you yeah. approach it differently. So, yeah, it's nice to have both those it. options. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, that's it for this week, guys. As we say, we're going to be at Clash of Kings. So, uh, keep an eye out for any content that we might be putting out over the weekend and uh, into next week. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend if you're not at Clash of Kings. And if you are coming to Clash of Kings, we'll see you both there. Awesome. Thanks, Kyle, for joining us. And we'll see you again next week.